All right, welcome back everybody. Well, we all know what goes up must come down one way or another, right? Well, this woman in Alberta, Canada fell through the ceiling of a convenience store after trying to get away from police. So the owners of the store said the woman and her partner in crime came in trying to use a stolen credit card at their store on Monday. Well, they called police on the couple for suspicious activity, but this woman thought that she had a bright idea of climbing through a ceiling vent to get away. Well, her plan, as you just saw, came crashing down and uh, both thieves were arrested. Not a very bright idea. A Florida company might have exposed the personal data of nearly every American adult. Tech news outlet Wired reported that the company Exactus exposed the data of 230 million people. Apparently, the information leak did not include credit card or social security numbers, but it did include phone numbers and email addresses. When approached, the marketing and data aggregating company had no comment. If confirmed, it would be one of the biggest in history, including 2017's Equifax breach. So definitely alarming. Fortnite's highly anticipated playground mode has been pulled from the game and it has yet to return. Players reported problems within minutes of its launch, complaining that the system was putting brand new players against much more experienced ones. While unable to resolve the issues, the developer Epic Games shut down that mode. Playground mode was designed to enable players to practice their skills in a battle royale style. The developer hopes to have things back up and running soon. That's what they're saying. Let's talk about Toys R Us, the company closing its doors for good today. And with that comes the final farewell to the store's mascot. You know him as Jeffrey the Giraffe. He has officially packed up a suitcase and now this photo with the empty shells in the background has gone viral and it's kind of sad and nostalgic at the same time. It was taken by a Toys R Us employee. As you know, Toys R Us filed for bankruptcy back in uh, last year, 2017. 